Hi, I'm Rob Panzarella with Airline Hydraulics. One of the topics that we've had internally and we kind of want to share with, with other people is this Bosch Rexroth 4W RLE valve. And the 3X version has been around for years. It is the same unit that Bosch has sold since the 90s. And as a result, some of the electronic hardware has become obsolete. So they've been trying to phase this out for several years now, but it's so popular in the US that we're still holding on to this kicking and screaming. But the part supply has really dwindled. So at this point, you can't get the board level components. And as a result, the prices have gone up to about two times what they normally would be for, for a valve of this size. So this guy has been replaced by the 4X valve. I have been working out, so. So this is the 4X valve, which looks an awful lot like this guy. So what we want to talk today about is the differences between the old one and the new one, so that when you're replacing the old valve, you can replace it with some confidence. So let's start with the electrical connector. This electrical connector is a seven pin. You've got your A and B, which is your, your power and ground, your D and E, which is, are your signal wires, and your pin F is your feedback, so you can confirm that this valve is working correctly. This guy's got the same seven pins. Take this connector off, put it right into this one, and the valve will, will just work like before. There's another, another similarity. The spool designations are similar. So if you had an E-spool in this valve, you're gonna have an E-spool in this valve. If it's a W6 here, it's the same W6. So you don't have to be confused with the nomenclature has changed on you. So those are the main similarities. Now let's look at what's different. So first thing you'll see is this connector has changed. This was a mini DIN connector. This is now your standard M12. As a result, this is a lot easier to come by. I've seen people in the field where they'll replace this valve and put something in between for a safety interrupt, and this cable needs to be longer. Well, this is just a standard M12 connector you can get anywhere. Uh, also, the feedback device is different. Uh, so this feedback device is married to this electronic board, and this was an older style, which I think was plus or minus 15 volt. So the way they call out the put them back, the internal and external pilots and drains. They work the same, but what they did in, in this guy is they use a designation E and T. So the pilot configurations here, you'll see your little Y, and you can see even the X on this side. So if you were gonna internally pilot and drain this guy, you still have your Y and your X, they're in the same spots. But if we were going to internally pilot and drain a 4X valve, when we're coming up with the model code nomenclature, this would be a P and a T because we would be sourcing the pilot oil, not from the X, but from the P port and draining the, the tank port of this guy to the tank port of the main valve. If this were going to be externally piloted and drained, it would actually say X and Y because you'd be using those ports in your manifold. What else is different? Well, this was a great valve and on a size 16, the typical flow rate was 180 liters a minute. And that 180 liters was measured at a 10 bar drop across this valve. And that was from pressure going in the, from A and pressure going from B to tank. So P to A would be five bar of that 10 bar and then B to tank would be the other five bar. The new valve has a better pressure drop. So this guy at the same delta P can flow upwards to 200 liters per minute. So you get about 10 to 20% more flow from the old valve to the new as they've made design improvements to this casting in particular to lower the pressure drop between the two. Well, I think the last thing you have to concern yourself with are the bolt heights. And so on the size 16, you would need a bolt that is nine millimeters longer for the new valve versus the old one. And we have a chart that you can see right now that shows the different heights between the different valve sizes from 10 through 35. So the spool configuration, the commands that go into each valve, 
everything remains the same. It's the pilot designation and the bolts are the real catches on these to make sure that you get a functioning valve when you replace the old one with the new. So if you have further questions on converting your 4WRLE 3X valve to a 4X, feel free to contact one of our specialists at Airline Hydraulics. Thank you.